So I just wanted to quickly go through my home management binder and tell you exactly what's in it. Dylan's upstairs getting a bath, so you might hear some tussling up there while he gets his hair washed. But um, real quick, I this goes in a page protector, but I haven't done that yet. This is um, my city's trash and recycling schedule so that I can get holiday trash collection correct. This is just a little exercise that I like to do when I'm coming up with my monthly goals. Um, you could download that from daniellelaporte.com. I highly recommend it. This tab right here has bank account information and uh, password information. So I'm just going to skip right over that one, obviously. And I'm gonna go right to the first tab. You can hear them up there. Which is, I'm gonna just give you a shot of my tabs. I have cleaning schedule detailed chore list, household supply list, meal planning, and event planning. I'll get to that later. Let me go on these in a little more depth. So my cleaning schedule is um, basically just broken down into what I do daily, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, seasonal, and yearly. And I just have that written out as my reminder. Um, it's pretty much down to a routine now, but if Michael wanted to take a look at it and jump in, he can do that, so it's right here. My detailed chore list actually takes those um, chores and then breaks them down. And if you've ever heard of flylady.net, basically she breaks her house into zones, like zone one, zone two, zone three. And if you're looking at a way of getting a hold of your household, I would take a look at that website because that's what got me started like Oh my gosh, back in like 2002 or 2003, I think, is when I found her. So, um, if I go, when I go into the master bedroom, these are the things that I do. This is beyond tidying, obviously, and I just break it down into the household. Into meal planning, I have a menu plan of um, what it is that we're going to eat every day, and I don't stick to what we're going to eat every day. So, as long as I have it planned out and I have the ingredients in the house, we can switch up. Um, it's just making sure that everything is on hand. And to that end, uh, I have copies of this, obviously. And to that end, I have a grocery list. Now, what I have here is these are the things that I buy period end of story definitely buying them no matter what and then I make my list accordingly um, with the meals that I have planned out these are double sided so that I don't waste paper um, just a little trick um, from here I actually have a little divider that has some good information like the top 100 foods you should have in your shopping cart, um, how to, which produce to eat in order, uh, some just things that I thought were handy to have. This is a pantry list so I can go in every month and I can do an inventory and make sure that we have all of these things, it's the typical stuff, the seasonings, the oils, so on and so forth. And back here, I have some of my favorite recipes that I just have on hand for a quick reference. You can see they're a little muddled. That's because they get used pretty frequently. Um, some baking recipes are divided behind that. And I'm trying to go kind of quickly because they're coming. They're coming. The kid and the husband, they're coming. Oh, my God. So behind this blue divider is baking. Household supply list. I found this on sarahtitus.com. This is a really good price book to have. Like if you find something at these prices, then you know to stock up on it. Some of these products, some of these prices are off for this socioeconomic area. I mean, I know that I could get bananas at the produce store for like 25 cents a pound, but it's a really good reference so that if I see something and I'm like, I wonder if that's a really good deal, I could come here and make the decision as to whether or not. I can stock up, which, you know, taking into consideration our usage. Event planning, um, I often have dinners, and um, I like to clip out some magazine articles that I found, like this one I have had since like 1995. It came from Southern Living. Um, this one came um, from like you know, five years ago. Um, and then I just put them in page protectors and hold on to them. 
Um, back here, I have birthday card, like birthday, birthday list. I also have this digital, but this is just so that when I'm going through my monthly supply list, I can pick up cards. Um, shopping lists. I don't have anything down here right now uh, because I have a different system for that, but that would go here. Like if I, um, I most often use this starting around October or November when I'm getting ready for Christmas. And then my household projects tab. This is a color wheel that Michael picked up for me so that I can have, uh, I have my swatches, a couple of these colors we already have in our house. Um, these are just really good things for me to have because uh, we still have the downstairs to paint. So picking out paint colors and looking at swatches and that sort of thing. Um, there's also a couple of articles in here from the I did it section, I think of better homes and gardens. Yes. Um, that I really liked and I wanted to keep. And so we have that. Ooh. Lastly behind here, I have my blogs. I have some um, blogs planned out and a really good list that I found from, who did I find this from? Just another, just another, that right there just another static heart okay so I thought that was really excellent um, the way that she has it laid out and then I have some tax stuff um, when I start this doesn't have any, it shouldn't have anything in it now but when I start getting um, tax information like my escrow accounts and that sort of thing I will stick it right in here so that all I have to do is pull it out and send it to the accountant and I think that is it. Uh, this is some more tax stuff. And then I have blank sheets of paper. And then I have a couple of stamps in the back. And that's basically my home management binder. This works for me right now. But as you can see, because it's a binder, I could take a section out, add a section. I purposely went with the two inch binder so that it can grow with me if it needs to be. Um, um, I like the fact that this has some um, see-through covers because I can put some quick recipes in here. I like to make some, as much DIY stuff as I can, and these were some recipes that I found on the internet that I haven't tried yet, but I am hoping to. So everything in one spot, that is your home management binder. That is a one-stop command center for you to customize as you see fit, and you can have everything on the run if you have to you know you're waiting for your kids to wrap up at soccer practice or something you can diligently work in this you know running our home is something that is a privilege in my mind um, you know when we have uh, people to care for and laundry to fold that means that we have clothes to wear when we have floors to scrub that means we have a hearth that we can take care of and that's just how I, I frame it in my mind so Hopefully this was of some value to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.